We have now three members in the company. We learn Bewildering Grace with Agnia, which is probably my favorite skill in the game. That's what we need to do. That's always incredible. I wonder what it'll be. I wonder what it'll be. Oh, no. Not bad. I wonder what it'll be. Not bad. Something good. Come I on. wonder what it'll be. I wonder what it'll be. I wonder what it'll be. I wonder what it'll be. Oh no, I'm bad. That's always incredible. We head back southeast. Hikari tries to challenge a worker on a bridge under construction and gets absolutely destroyed. We find some boats and see where they take us. We find a great traveler's bow on a little island. Hikari learns piercing thrust and Particio learns rest. Agnia learns sweeping gale, an attack that deals wind damage and unlocks the support skill number one. Show must go on that extends the duration of effect granted by a turn. We arrive in the port town of Kenelbrine, rob some kids of their belongings with Agnia's talents, and also everyone in town, free stuff. We do some shopping and Hickory learns insight that forces enemies to focus him as their targets in fights. This unlocks another support skill for him, summon strength, that raises his physical attack by 50. After visiting the town and making sure we robbed everyone, we finally head to the docks and meet with an apothecary helping out a sailor. He needs fruit and I have a ton of grape on me, so I help out and Casti introduces herself. I appreciate the help. My name is Casti. She seems to have lost her memories and is on a quest to remember her past. We agree to let her come with our little group and her tale starts. Right away, we witness a flashback of Casti, visibly unconscious and being taken to a skiff by a stranger. The stranger seems to put much hopes on Casti's shoulders for some reason and the scene ends as we see the boat floating west. Some time later, Casti is rescued by a large ship going towards Canalbrine Harbor where we met her. We speak with the captain and realize her memories are gone and she would have forgotten her name too if it wasn't for the label stitched on her apothecary outfit. In order to try and remember some stuff, we can now use Casti's daypath action, inquire, Using it on people, we can learn all sorts of information. Castie figures out that even though she has amnesia, she can clearly remember how to use her apothecary skills. We then decide to check out our belongings we had with us in the skiff. Castie's satchel contains medicinal herbs, apothecary tools, and a strange white flower. And as we are wondering about it, we make it to the land and the town of Canalbrine. I get distracted by a very pixelated cat, thank the captain, and start exploring. Right away, Castie gets dirty looks because of her uniform, and with our inquiry skill, we try and gather some information to understand the situation. No one is particularly helpful and we end up running into some guy named Senna, visibly not doing well, and calling for anime characters? Sasuke? As soon as we rush to see if he's alright, we are joined by another girl who helps us get him inside. Now comes Casti night path action, Soothe, it lets us administer medicine to townsfolk and soothe their pain, as long as we have the right items. After a perfect diagnosis and treatment, it seems the boy will be just fine, and a stranger introduces herself as Malaya, a traveling apothecary. We explain the whole amnesia but still can work situation, and we get interrupted by the boy's brother, who yells at us after seeing Casti's uniform for some reason. He gets angry and mentions Air's apothecaries. He then calls me a pestilence monger and throws us out. We question Malaya about these Ayers apothecaries, but decide there are more important manners on the table, like identifying the source of the disease that hits Senna. Sometime later, a group of townsfolk surrounds Casti and Malaya and proceed to explain their reputation following Ayers apothecaries. We tell them that we lost our memories, which they don't buy of course, but we inquire them about the causes that are making people sick lately. Two seconds later, one of them falls down with the same sickness and the people let me check on him. Some guy comes rushing and panic ensues after the word is that more and more people are getting sudden fever. Casti lends her services even though these are the same people who were rude to her earlier. We go around town and use Sooth to make the sick feel better. The crowd apologizes, even Sasuke, who even asks us to save the town. Apparently the disease seems to be coming from something in the water and Casti decides to go investigate the source in a cavern south of town, alone. On the way to the cavern, we meet with some snake people and crab enemies and try out Casti's fighting abilities. She uses an axe for basic attacks and can prepare positive and negative concoctions during the fight, as long as we have the required ingredients in our bags. She can also heal with SP or inflict ice damage. We find a helm in a red chest and then embark on a skiff towards the cavern. 
A few crabs, bats and turtles defeated, an old armor in a red chest equipped, we meet with the usual before boss merchant, just chilling there for some reason, get some healing grapes and XP a bit before saving and continuing forward. Casty learns Poison Axe, a power axe attack that poisons an enemy for two turns, and finally decides to investigate the source of the problem. The water is all green and gross, and we meet with a couple dudes that are making funny sounds. <coughs> So you're the ones causing all this trouble. <laughs> the voice actor must have a blast. We fight them both, and as we are closing to victory, one of them just eats the other one and becomes more powerful. Casty's latent power awakens and lets her prepare any concoction without needing the required ingredients. We manage to get rid of the monster and proceed to clean the water. We get teleported back into town, give the people the good news and they apologize, even offering me to ask for anything. Instead of information, she just asks for a bath. We say goodbye to Malaya, who says she's trying to find a cure to a terrible disease, but we beg her for information about Air's apothecaries. We use Casty's path action on Malaya, some weird glitches happen, and the flashback we saw in the beginning of her tale starts playing again. Except this time, we learned that the stranger putting Casty on the skiff was actually Malaya herself. I scratch my head, and Malaya leaves after we get the vision. Questions start popping in Casty's head, and as we run after her, she's already gone. A hidden pocket in our satchel reveals a book and we find our own diary. After reading a few pages, we decide to follow the clues leading to Sai and Winterbloom in order to remember and discover who we are. I need to rediscover who I am. And there's something else, something important I'm forgetting. I need to remember. Thank you.